Hey, this is Dean O'Dell with Seven Gables Real Estate and the O'Dell Group. Today is February 11th. It's time for another Tustin Talks. We're going to look at the broad Orange County market real quick, and then we are going to focus on Tustin market. This is the only place you're going to find that information. So we got some graphs there for you. And let's move on to the first chart. So looking at the active inventory year over year, let's look. More bad news for buyers, I hate to say. The inventory level is decreasing instead of increasing this last month, but hopefully we'll see some improvement here pretty quick. Right now, the current level is only 2,493 homes for sale in the entire county. Last year at this time, there were 4,005. So that means we're down 1,512 homes which means last year we had 61% more homes to sell. Okay, moving on, let's look at demand in the county year over year. So we go back to the red line here and you could see how demand has shot way up even though inventory has not. We've gone from 2,055 homes up to 2,590 homes. That's an increase of 535 sales and that is up 26% from last year. If we look at this chart, it's a year over year comparison of the inventory change versus the demand for each price range. So you can see how we are just so down on inventory in certain price ranges, right? You've got, let's look at the 750 to million dollar price range. We're down 40% on inventory in the county and we're up 28% on demand. Look at the million five and over. We're down 26% on inventory and we're up 63% on demand. So overall, you can see they average it out. We're down 38% on inventory and we're up 21% on demand. So it's always interesting to look at that demand by price range. Hey, sorry to interrupt this program, but we wanna make sure you are subscribed to Test and Talk. So please click on the subscribe button below and then if that doesn't work, just go to the odellgroup.com or you can go to youtube.com forward slash Tustin Talks. Now let's get you back to the program. To break that down even further or look at it a different way, we usually include this chart, which we have here, and it breaks it down by price range as well, showing you the expected marketing time, the share of housing inventory, versus the demand and how the time on the market to sell this year compares with last year. So you can take a look at that. I think what I see has really changed on this chart is the 1.5 to $2 million range. The expected marketing time's gone way down and that is now gone into seller's market territory. So looking at the expected marketing time now, you can see from last year, we've dropped to 29 days on the market. So this is charting just the average overall sale it's blending everything together and you can see anytime you're under 60 days it is a hot seller's market but again you have to pay attention to what price range your home is in on the tustin chart we're going to make it short today because i have a lot of other things to say in this video so here's the tustin data which you're only going to find on tustin talks our three zip codes and how they compare and you could take a look at this chart I think that what's very interesting is when you look at the average active price to sold price, especially in the North Tustin area, look at the disconnect there. 2,198,000 is the average versus 1.232 million is the average sale. That is a big disconnect, which means the middle of our market really needs inventory. and. You can see how that looks zip code to zip code. You could you know, put this on pause and look at it for your own zip code and all the categories. Okay, so what does all this mean? Low inventory, high demand. As Steve Thomas says in the Orange County Housing Report, this is exactly what it means, bidding war. And let me give you an example of that. So in the last week, our team took three listings we had 109 showings on those three listings from Thursday to Tuesday. And on those three listings, we had 26 offers. One sold for full price, another one sold for way over full price, and the third one also sold for over full price. So that's what happens when you get a market like this. And sellers, I'm gonna give you some advice on pricing here in just a moment, but let's start with the buyers. Okay, buyers, 
I know it. You're frustrated. We keep saying this every every week and it seems to just get worse, but you got to hang in there. You got to keep trying. It's going to take a lot of inventory to stabilize this market and, you know, get it equal. So right now you just need to be have a disciplined approach, know what your walk away number is and just hang in there. If you need a good agent to represent you, give us a call. We know a lot of the other agents around here that have listings and I think it's an advantage. I know it's an advantage for you to work with us or someone on our team, okay? So with that being said, let's move on to sellers and I'm gonna give you a tip that I would tell you myself, but I'm gonna read it right here from Steve Thomas's report because he is dead on on this and we've seen sellers not take this advice and uh, it doesn't work out as well as it does for the people who take the advice. So let me read this to you. The best strategy to obtain the top dollar for a home is to carefully price a home according to its fair market value. The current market may be incredibly hot, especially below one and a quarter million. That stretching the asking price and even overpricing a home may still result in eventually achieving the ultimate goal in selling. However, it will be at the expense of leaving money on the table. Stretching the asking price and overpricing results in fewer offers to purchase and not being able to properly tap into the auction-like atmosphere in selling a home today. When a home is properly priced according to the most recent comparable sales and pending sales, taking into consideration the location, conditions, upgrades, and amenities, it will produce the most interest and high number of multiple offers possible. Pitting all these offers against each other will instigate a bidding war where one buyer outbids the rest, often for higher than the asking price, and in some cases, much higher. That's it. I mean, Steve's right on, he's right on. That's exactly what's happening out there. That's what's happening with our listings. Listings that are starting too high they're sitting and they're losing that advantage of maybe having a couple of buyers bidding against each other. I mean, wouldn't you rather have two buyers fighting for a house than just one person fighting with you, right? So price it right. And then you have to pick an agent that has the correct way to handle that situation and those offers. We have a process for that. It's been working very, very well for our clients. And uh, we'd like to tell you about that and show you what that process is because we are getting people a lot of money for these houses right now. So please give us a call and we'll talk to you soon. And that wraps up this Tustin Talks. So we will see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget the Odell Group is one of the top 10 teams in Orange County. We have sold thousands of homes. So draw from our experience and let us help you out. Subscribe right now and watch our videos to educate yourself, whether you're a buyer, seller, or both and then visit our website at theodellgroup.com and reach out and let's get to know each other so we can help you. All right, thanks, bye-bye.